everybody, Melinda here, uh, doing a little bit of an Amazon haul and an update for you guys. Um, I'm going to start with the Amazon haul, and then if I have time before my husband gets up, I will do the update portion. Uh, it's going to be a pretty quick one for you guys today, um, but I just wanted to kind of say hello, and uh, I will tell you during the update everything else that's going on. Uh, so the first thing I got is the um, Pure Bees Wax. This is the yellow block, uh, and I also got some little two-ounce tins. I'm going to be doing a mustache wax um, trial, so I got those, and then I also got uh, a soy wax kit. Um, this is from Candlewick, that's the name of the company right there. Uh, I will try to remember to link it in the description in case you guys are interested. If I forget, somebody please just make a comment saying, hey, just a reminder, you forgot it, and I'll get it on there for you. Um, it comes with four, um, four one ounce fragrances, um, which are in here, uh, and it has the, uh, wildflower, um, red pineapple, mango, and banana leaf, and agave nectar. They smell really, really good. Um, you also get some colored chips in here somewhere. Um, yeah, they're down in there. Uh, and it is turquoise red. Uh, orange and Kelly green. Um, you get the wicks and the dots to go in the tins. Uh, you also get three of these little bow tie things. These sit down into your jars and then you um, pull the wick over into the little thing there and it holds it up straight while you are pouring your wax so you don't lose your wax. Uh, it also comes with the thermometer and um, a warming tin for your um, wax and it comes with 12 of these eight, um, four ounce tins and it also comes with the stickers um, on the bottom that tells you to burn within sight and not to leave it unintended that kind of thing uh, so I'm looking forward to trying this I've never made candles before so I am hopeful um, and that is it for my Amazon haul had a little bit of a problem with my uh, Amazon order, but they did, um, they did fix it. Uh, it came, my box was completely opened, um, when I opened up the door. And, uh, so they took care of that for me. Uh, I was a little upset because I didn't know how, uh, soy wax would react to the elements of being out in the cold and then being in the house. It sweated a little bit, but we will see if it got fixed with what I did. So, um, my dog is snoring. That's what that is. It's like, what am I hearing? Um, but yeah, so for the update portion, um, I am switching to day shift. So, um, not this week, uh, but the following week, the week of the 28th of March, I will be going to day shift. Um, and hopefully I will be able to record some more um, videos in the evening since my husband will still be awake and I'm not worried about waking him up trying to record something uh, and I'm hoping to have a little bit more time on my hands that way so we will see um, I'm gonna be doing some book videos uh, I got two book orders coming in um, that I can haul for you guys and I also have some books that I have read that I'm going to talk about uh, and um, you know give what my you know opinion is of the book uh, and I'll try to do it where it's a general description of what the book is about. And then I'll put like, you know, some kind of a, um, you know, warning that I'm going to go in depth on the book and, and talk about it. Um, I'm not sure. I might just do a brief synopsis of what I thought of it and what the storyline is kind of a thing, but we'll see. Uh, I also have the Ipsy and Boxy Charm uh, videos. I got those recorded. I'm editing those and piecing them together. Um, I got my hair cut, yay, once a year, uh, finally came around. I think I'm going to get it cut a little bit more often than once a year because the layers tend to get really, really super long, uh, if I do that, if I wait too long, but I procrastinate, so I digress. I'll put a picture at the end of the, um, video of my haircut because obviously my hair's up in a clip and you can't see anything anyway. Um, I did some men's stuff already. I already told you I'm doing the mustache stuff. Um, where is it at? Uh, here it is. 
Uh, I did a shave, a solid shave bar soap. Uh, this is a two, uh, no, this is a four ounce. This, no, this is a three ounce container, I believe. Um, and so I uh, did those and got them labeled. So those are up on the side already. I have pine tar soap almost ready. Um, I, ha I have to go get more stuff to make labels and so forth. And I have to shrink wrap it. Uh, as well as cool water, which is a men's scent. Uh, I am going to be getting a couple more soaps in for men uh, just so that I have an even balance because I have a lot of stuff for girls. Uh, and I'm also going to do a uh, more masculine scented whip soap, whip, whipped facial soap, uh, even though the pineapple cilantro is pretty universal. Um, I just want to make it to where it might be a little bit more appealing because some men don't want to smell like pineapple. Um, some men do. And I think it's great that they do. Um, but yeah, so I'll be getting them in soaps uh, done and up soon. And um, my trial and error here with the candles. Uh, I don't think I'm going to sell these ones that I'm going to be making. Because this is my first attempt. And if there's air pockets or anything like that, I need to actually burn them so that I can figure out whether or not uh, I did them correctly. Um, I've watched a couple of videos on them so far. So I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, but we shall see. Um, and who knows, I might do a couple cooking videos uh, in the near future. Um, I've had a couple of my Facebook friends ask me to do some cooking videos. Uh, I cook low carb, um, not totally carbless, just low carb. Uh, so I might do some of the recipes that I really enjoy uh, making. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see how much time I have. Um, I, like I said, I am going to be working days, but my day is probably going to be like uh, 10 to 6 30 or 10 to 7 or something like that so I may not have a lot of time in the evening after cooking dinner uh, and that kind of thing but we will see so I hope you guys enjoyed the mini haul um, I will let you guys know if the mustache wax turns out um, I am going to add one more ingredient because it only called for um, the beeswax and for uh, coconut oil but I think I'm going to add one more um, little something in there to make mine stand out a little bit differently. I am not going to scent it with anything but the products that I'm putting into it uh, because that is very close to the nose with the mustache and some men may not want a scent there so um, I will see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a Facebook poll and see if they want a scented and an unscented version. Um, but yeah, so I got some things coming up and uh, Hopefully I can get them videoed for you. Uh, I might do, um, when I do the pine tar soap, uh, I might go ahead and do, uh, show you how I shrink wrap it and how I label and so forth. I've had a couple of people ask me for that as well. So until next time, guys, have a great day and I will talk to you guys soon. Snapchat, add me, it's Mrs. Melly D. I'll put it down in the YouTube description. Ooh.